Mother's Day is this weekend, and what better way to show your love for mom than a home-cooked meal? Show your love for mama with food, right? <laughs> Here to share his special Mother's Day recipes and the new cookbook he's written with Amari Studemeyer, basketball player, Amari? Basketball player. All right, yeah. it's Chef Max Hardy. Thanks for having me. Max! Hey, welcome, All welcome. Right. Wow, you brought a spread. Yeah, yes. we got some, some good stuff for Mother's Day. Uh, bring a little Caribbean flavor. My oh, mom's ooh, from Bahamas, okay. and so. Let's talk wanna... about Amari really quickly before we get to the cooking. Yeah, now, you're absolutely. his personal chef. What's it like to cook it up for a big old basketball star? Well, it's quite challenging sometimes, you know, to fuel him up because he burns so many calories during the game. So I have to keep him, you know, fueled up to get out there and be a star player as he is. And so he can't he... just eat anything, right? right? He has to eat food that's going to keep him lean and mean on the court. Yeah, so high in proteins, mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of carbs um, during game days. And so we kind of give him a well-balanced diet. He loves food, so. so. What's his favorite meal? And is that recipe in the book? This is one of his favorites, um, oh, okay. a salmon cake. Um, but probably his favorite would be sea bass, I believe. Mm. I think you'll say sea bass. I want to come favorite. over. I, know, right? <laughs> I, love, I like sea bass. <laughs> come, come on over. I'd love to have you. So and you said he can burn how many calories a game? Around 3,000 3, uh, 3, to 4,000 calories per game. Wow. Yeah, so it's quite, quite challenge to keep him fueled up. Yeah. yeah so. And he was involved in making this book with you, so how involved was he? Did he help with the recipes? Well, it started because he just had a, a passion for food, mm -hmm. and he wanted to understand what he was putting in his body. And so as I was in the kitchen, he always wanted to come in. So I'm like, well, let's, let me show you how to be a chef. Oh. And so, but let's document it. And so that's what we did. So we had some fun, 100 recipes of uh, our favorite choices. And you've got recipes for pros and recipes for rookies as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. I mean, they're, oh, they're both for pros and rookies. You know, okay. the cookbook, it spells it out for you. So it's kind of like a... Uh, what's a pro recipe and what's a rookie recipe? Well, this, this would be kind of your medium. Okay. You know, this is your... Uh D-League recipe. D -League. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely in the D-League. Yep. <laughs> the next one would be your, your uh, pro recipe, which is uh, a little more demanding. Okay. Like, knife skills is involved. All right, so, so we're going to start off on the bench, but then we're going to be <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna work gonna our starting way. We're going to work our way okay. to the starting lineup. Well, let's right. get started. Let's do this. So Where we're going we to we gonna, we gonna start with our salmon cake. All right, okay. so I have some salmon. I love salmon cakes. Raw salmon. Okay. Raw. All right, okay. so we're going to put some in that bowl. Okay. The whole thing, we just dump it in? Yeah. Okay. All right. There we go. We got our salmon nice in there. Bowl. Max is not playing We're around. We're going to add yeah, some that. red peppers, yellow peppers. Okay, I'll hold All the right. bowl. Okay, you hold okay. the bowl. Let's throw some stuff in, too. Mm. scallions in there. Scallions, I love scallions. Do we throw everything in, then mix it up, or mix Absolutely. it up as you're throwing it We're in? We're going to throw it in and then mix it up. Okay. Onions, red little onions. onions. A little color, Ooh. never hurt anybody. We're going to put a little, mm. oh, just a tad <laughs> bit of garlic in there. Okay. Oh, oh put a lot of garlic. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of garlic. You love yeah, garlic. We love garlic. Yeah. A little Cajun spice to give it a little mm, kick. Cajun. Cajun. All, all of that? Okay. That's good. Yep. <laughs> it's going to be a He's kick, all right? Yeah. yeah. A little yeah. breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. That helps it stick together, right? Yep. That, that makes it congeal. Okay. And a little egg. Egg. Oh, no, yeah. that's the full that egg. That's yolk egg. and everything. Yolk and egg. So okay. let's give it a nice little mix. Okay. okay. Now we're just going to mix it around. While we're doing here. that, I'm going to jump in and we can make our kunk salad, Ooh, which is uh, one of my good. favorites. Ooh. Yeah, I always have that when I go to the Bahamas. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Good. All right, I'm trying to stir it. Wow, yeah. you know how to work a knife. It's just a little bit. I've been doing it for quite a few years. Yeah, you how do skills. I, how do I know when I should be done stirring? As soon as it starts to combine and okay. turns like a cake. I think I need more breadcrumbs. Little, more breadcrumbs in there. There we go. Oh, okay. Perfecto. All right. So you got our tomatoes. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a little... Um, jalapeno in there. Jalapeno. Yeah. You're really spicy. making this spicy, right? Amari likes it spicy. Every now and then he, he'll, he'll call for a little kick a in his spice life. Spice in his life, right? Yeah. <laughs> Is there a game-winning meal that he must have? Is there something that he likes to have before? Well, during before the, the game, they try to fuel him up with a nice little steak, you okay. know, just to get him, you know, fueled up. All and right. then um, after that, then dinner, if it's a, a winning game, yeah. then he enjoys, you know, a nice uh, sea bass or oh, lasagna, nice. some of his favorites. What if he loses? Then what? If he loses, then he's in a bad Cake. mood. So <laughs> ice we got to give him uh, five steaks and a lot, of, right. a lot of ice cream. So we have our kunk here that we're going to oh, dice okay. up. So that's what, now what is it so everyone is clear? It's, Kunk, it's, it's kind of like a muscle. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you've seen the guys blow out the kunk show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a muscle inside of there, kind of like a clam. That's why I thought it was a snail. Yeah. <laughs> Almost like a snail. Okay. It's in that So family. we're going to dice that up, yeah. Ah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Now, how, ha how are his cooking skills now, Amari? You that know, is... when we first started, he was um, kind of weak. Now his, his, knife skills are, <laughs> his knife skills are getting there. So we haven't been having a lot of fun in the kitchen together. Almost a pro, huh? Almost a pro. Okay. So we're going to get all this in the mixing bowl. I think bowl. I'm done okay. stirring this. Perfect. Do I pour this? Help you yeah, let's get all that in there. You can use there your we hands. Go. We trust you. Yeah. You wash them first, right? Absolutely. Okay, good. So that's the first, oh, good. first part of being a chef. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to get this. Lemons and limes, oranges lemons and in there. Limes. What do you do with those? We're going to squeeze that in here. Oh, just to get the juice to make our salad. Yeah. The juice. Oh, yeah. that looks like a 
a great salad, nice and colorful. I know, and there healthy. There we go. Pop of flavor right there. A little pinch right. of salt there. Sea salt? Sea salt. Okay. A little black pepper. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then you just stir it up and ready to go. There we go. Mm, See how much I'm contributing? Salad salad as well. You are doing a great job, I'm Lola. doing a great job. I mean, the way you hold that, it makes all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Another little toss. Okay. Well, you just have to keep tossing to get all the flavors around. Absolutely. There, you right? want to get all the flavors in there to okay. start. What you want to do is you want to kind of create a ceviche kind of deal where it cooks. The acidity mm. kind of cooks the conch. Oh. And then we're done there. Oh, okay. That was it. Wait, it can be eaten just like this? Absolutely. Yeah, oh. Because the, the lemon and the lime Ooh. cooks it. Yeah. Yep. And then all we're right. going to garnish. Okay. Nice. Okay. Little cucumber oh, in there. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, there we go. Some forks over here. And I think this is done being stirred. Yeah, yeah. Forks there. Okay. Right. Enjoy. Party time. All right. So now we have our, our mixture here. Oh, my fork our, fell. Uh -oh. Oh, well. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you can have this fork. Oh, yeah. There we, we got go. One? Okay. Uh -huh. We right, got a mixture of our salmon cake. Uh huh. All right. So now we're gonna make a nice little cake. You mix that while I taste this. <laughs> so you make it okay. Just round it in your hands. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Make a cake. There we go. A little flour. Flour. Roll it around. Yep. Definitely tastes healthy. Mm. Very light. Yeah. And I'm used Get to nice having it fried. Saute. So it's good to have it when it's not fried Absolutely. with all the batter on Absolutely. it. Absolutely. No, but fried kunk is one of my favorites as well too. But mm. you know this is this is perfect. Okay. Mm. Delicious. Oh, yeah. I like how quick this is. Yeah. Are all your meals this fast? I try oh. to, because you okay. never know when you know clients like Amari Stadamar, it's, it's always a rush on the go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. So if I can do this and, and be done really quick, mm -hmm. it makes it a lot easier, you know? Okay, mm -hmm. now how long do we have to saute them for? We're gonna saute the crab cakes for like three minutes on each side. Yeah. And, and you really didn't put a lot of breading on there, it was just a little bit No, powder very light, very side. light, very okay. light. You know, because when you make cakes, you don't want it to be very, you know, overbearing mm -hmm. with bread. No. And so how do you know when it's done at? Once well, it's going to have a nice golden brown. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the salmon's going to cook through really easy, you know, because uh -huh. so, salmon's one of those fish that cooks Delicious, really quick. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I try not to overcook them, you know. I like them to have a nice medium on the salmon. But you just cook it on that side, flip it over, and cook it on the other side. You don't Correct. have to do the sides. Don't so have to do the sides, no. Okay, it cooks right through. Yep. Now, I've heard you don't squeeze it down because then you're pushing out all the flavor. Is that true with salmon? A absolutely, cakes? because okay. salmon, with salmon is, you know, it's very, it's, it cooks really quick. Mm -hmm. If you overcook it, it tends to get tough okay. and dry really quick. So we kind of like cook it to a nice medium. There's nothing worse than dry salmon. Oh, no, nothing worse than that. Mm -hmm. All right, so now it's cooking, and with the magic of television, we can already do the big reveal, Absol right? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so have some already made up for you guys. Wait, flip it to Ooh. the other side. Uh-oh. Really quickly. So in addition to Amari, you've worked with some other big names as well. Can you talk to us oh. about those people? Yes, yeah, so I had a, you know, uh, great career starting off and mm -hmm. had an honor to cook for Prince of Dubai, okay. uh, Fabulous, wow. with a few rappers, and um, just a few... Big time guys, A-listers all over the world. A-listers yeah. all over the world. That is impressive. So what, what is it like cooking for an A-lister? Are they more demanding than your average hungry person? Well, it, it, it varies because some of them are very health conscious. And mm -hmm. then some of them are, you know, I just want to have a good time, chef, cook up some stuff and just let us have fun. So it's a balance. Mm -hmm. So some of my clients are really health, health forward and then some just want to get out there and have a good time. Yeah. So. Well, because they're <laughs> celebrities or princes, do they have more elaborate dish options that they want to choose from? Some do, some do. Um, you know, a lot of rappers, you always get a five o'clock phone call, chef, we want chicken and waffles after the club, so <laughs> that's always uh, surprising. Uh -huh. But the Prince of Dubai, he always, you know, he, he's a foodie himself, so he always uh, keeps me on my toes when he comes in town. Well, how does that work, though? Are you really on call like that for a lot of your celebrity clients? Just oh, yeah. whenever they want to eat? Oh, yeah, whenever they want to eat, you know, they wow. call and we send a chef to them. Um, in my roster, we have like four chefs that I kind of outsource to all the different guys, mm -hmm. so it makes it a lot easier. Now, how did you land in the culinary world? Well, you know, I grew up in, in loving food. My grandmother, she was a, a great cook. My mom was a great cook. And so I just wanted to, you know, experience food on a different level. And when I was in high school, I started um, in my junior year of high school. And I thought of fashion for it. I really wanted to be a chef. And so I went to Johnson & Wells and took off running from there. All right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. here you are today. And here I am yes, today. cooking right. it up. Now let's get to tasting. Yeah, let's so let's see. We got a little Ooh. salmon cakes here. Okay. That yeah. looks oh. amazing. A little garlic aioli. Garlic aioli, yep, yep, yep. my favorite. Now before wow. we uh, we uh, dig in, let's talk about your charity work. Yeah, One Chef 86 Hunger. Well. Yep, yep. One Chef 86 Hunger is our nonprofit uh, initiative where we get into inner cities and we uh, raise awareness to hunger, and then also to uh, teach kids culinary arts and show them that you know there's a way to get out the hood by being a chef and. You can wow. cook your way you out of the way hood. Out of the I hood. love Absolutely. that. Where can we find out more information about your organization? OneChef86Hunger.com. And so um, we do different things all over the city. Uh, time to time, we do a Feed the Community initiative in October where we get into the inner cities and feed 500 kids every wow. Saturday. Wow, 500? Yeah. So, That's um, impressive. We're trying to develop that and get that all over the world. 
All right, yeah. and the cookbook comes out in June, right? June 10th. June 10th, it'll be out, so make sure you get your copy. All, All right. right. Well, if these are in there, I'm definitely going to get it because this yeah. is delicious. Good, good. Thank you so much for Absolutely. joining us and teaching us how to be expert chefs. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having I me. I want this for myself. I don't, think, I don't think you're going to get this, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.